Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. Last episode, we had Chiggity pop off. His his strength is pretty much super speed. Kind of broken because even they knew about his strength, which is kind of funny because the twins started blaming Cool and like, why did you tell me about this guy? Like, bruh, you guys played in the past together. But how do you counter super speed? I guess you would have to position yourself in anticipation. But they all thought that his injury is what was preventing him. It's not completely confirmed. But it was mostly a mental block, right? So he did. He had the fear of, you know, completely losing his right, not losing it, but and unable to play soccer due to his right leg. It's gone. He was able to break the shackles. Why? Because Isagi basically just pushed him on the ground. It's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to score it. <laughs> and Chiggy was like, all right, I'm motivated too. I like this a lot better than more of talk no jutsu of like how Naruto would like tell the enemies like, no, this is how, how you're supposed to live. You can do a better future. It's like, no, get the fuck out of here, dude. What are you doing? Get your shit together. And Chiggy did get his shit together. Now we beat that team. Quone is still technically on our team, but he's still trying to sell us out. How is this going to work moving forward? Like, He's in such a weird position where the enemies aren't even accepting his advice anymore. And now he's just kind of banished from our team. It This just sucks for us, right? So I'm interested in how that's going to happen. Also, Lemon, the goalkeeper, made his first goal save. Let's watch today's episode. Wait, the goalkeeper Lemon is doing this now. Usually Kwon would be the one, you know, doing all this like leadership stuff. But I guess it's awkward for him to do it now, right? Is he even participating? Well, he is there, and he got... <laughs> he did get stopped. <laughs> Should I <kill? laughs> Yes. <laughs> also hyped. Raichi has to do something at some point, right? Because they haven't shown his strength just yet. He's one of the few people that hasn't really popped off yet. I guess he doesn't really care. Uh, uh, I don't know what you tell me. Sure. <laughs> right, he likes to use words that... He doesn't really know what it really means, but it sounds smart. <laughs> I like I like this running gag. I'm not sure if that's the right way to raise your kid, to impose those kind of ideals in a child. Like, they're going to grow fucked up. Like, spoiling your kids is good, but then to give them a god complex is... Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, he was dunking already, though? <laughs> Soccer? <laughs> Dad, I really want to pursue the match. Nah, don't worry about it. Just forget it. Nah, not this one. For the company, not the sports. Well, with all your resources. He's objectively not wrong. But at least use your resources to help your kid, man. Nah, it's not for the sake of him. It's for the sake of the empire the parents have created. Oh. Shit, that piece is kind of There he is. Not his phone. Just never seen a move like that. He's... Look at that soft touch. Holy! But already you can see how talented he is. And just <laughs> sits right back down and starts playing. Uh, oh, you're Mr. Rich Guy's son, sure. <laughs> Pretty honest. It, that guy is everybody. Yeah, I don't want to do anything. Can I have some money? That's, that's pretty relatable, I guess. <laughs> This guy's introduction is hilarious. Yeah, you do. That's, ev that's everything in life, though. But talent goes to those that don't want it, man. He's one of the chosen few. He gives. He doesn't give a shit. That's the thing about life, man. Talent rarely goes to those that want it the most. Kohn's still here. I love how there's still, like, marks all over his face and getting stomped. Yeah, Kwon, what are you gonna do, man? Kwon! Hey, what is his plan? All he can do is just keep selling his team out? There is no redemption for him? Oh. <laughs> because of the three, he got him for free. Well, not, it wasn't for free, but he did cheese those goals, so I guess he's still in a pretty decent position, assuming 
we don't score goals, then you're out, dude. That's right. Somebody has to get over three goals. Maybe. Why not? Oh shit, main character energy, dude. I love this guy. He's so straightforward. He's so just pure. Also, he reminds me of uh, Ichigo from Bleach because of his hair. So many... <laughs> Hello, Ego. <laughs> You're listening the entire time? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! So main dude of Blue Lock is just personally shitting on him. <laughs> You are the lowest of the lowest. Everybody was so hype here, right? Everybody had their brilliant moments, and then Cone just fucking. That's cheap ass. Win the game because you're meant to. That is such a good line. Pretty epic. All right, we got one one full day before the next match. I want Raichu to pop up in the next match. He has to, right? There's no way they're saving him. Like, as like a running gag of, oh, he's yelling a lot. He's talking a lot of shit, but then always gets off screen. Nah, they, they gotta be saving him or something. Who the? Oh, it's a uh, Baro! Mr. King Baro! <laughs> he was like, I'll kill you if you don't get out of my way. Are we gonna get some coaching lessons from King Baro? Just be a Giga Chad. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be like him. You got your own thing going. Spatial awareness, enabling an entire team. I guess he's kind of helping right now. I, well, I'm not sure if Baro is intentionally trying to coach him, but he's just getting annoyed and being like, I'm gonna fuck you up right now. <laughs> Shut your cock. But this Baro guy, he just. Oh. Look at that curve. That's why he's the king. It's kind of nuts. That precision is nuts. Is that his strength? I forgot what his. Donkey! One more. Come on, Baro. I wish he kicked it harder and hit him in the back of the head. <laughs> the king. You see? <laughs> Bro, you're so easy to just like bait and just like, you know, help us out. <laughs> Here comes another one. Nani? Pop corner again. Ooh, that precision. Jesus. Call him out again. One more. <laughs> Throw a ball in his head and he'll get pissed off and help us again. Yeah, this guy is nuts. I hope he's a reoccurring character in the future. Like, I like his design. I like how OP he is. Hmm? <laughs> See, it's so easy. <laughs> and then he's gonna get upset. Like, huh? <laughs> The fuck you say? Instead of walking away, I'll play with you again. <laughs> He's got like a formula down. Oh, we're being very analytic about this. Hold up, his eyes are flaring. Yeah, that's like a strike zone. So if you don't let him in there, and then Baro will probably show us something entirely new. I mean, I expect someone of this caliber to have like a, like a plan B. Oh, oh. This wins. Oh, what, where, where is all this wind coming from? Oh shit! It makes it look so cool and epic! He's... His spatial awareness is able to deconstruct other people's powers like that and... Oh, he's still calling this donkey. NANI! <laughs> the way that they're going... Pop right again. But I love how they're specifically telling us like the measurement and the radius. Like in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, it's like my 10 meter emerald splash radius. I love how <laughs> they're giving us the exact, you know, distance. No, it just makes them want to get better. He is pretty Oh, God damn. Baro, please shit talk me too. <laughs> this Tsundere dude. 
<laughs> Borrow is such a tsundere. Your weapon was able to deconstruct his power, wasn't it? And now, if you can do that, then you can counter those powers, can't you? Or right, isn't that kind of more insane if you think about it? Assuming other people can't just analytically break down other people's strengths like that. Assuming Isagi is the only one that could because of his eyes. Isn't that kind of insane? Temple Monk. All right, he hasn't really done anything yet either, but I feel like he's the type of character, like his strength is to never give up. He's gonna have his moment and it's gonna be pretty like really heartfelt. Like he's the heart of the team, I guess. So I'm sure he'll, ha he'll have his moment to shine. I wonder if Bachira will be panicking. Nah, someone like him is totally... Everybody? Nobody sleeping? I want Bachira just to be kind of knocked out though. Yeah, <laughs> look! <laughs> Bachira doesn't give a shit. Lemon is still in goal. Lemon is just permanent goalkeeper. That's like the funniest thing how it's a team made up of strikers and then, you know, Lemon has just been relegated into goalkeeper. That's the last position you want to be as a striker, but he's more forming that to leader though, right? <laughs> right, Chief? This shit talk is so good. It's kind of fun though because Kone is a wild card now. And uh, you don't know if he's... Because like, we can't trust him, but there could be a moment where maybe he can help out and it'd be more epic like that at times because it's now very unpredictable. This is better though. Lemon definitely is the leader. Like, his voice fits it. His, you know, his design fits that role. I mean, we can still hang out after this. Just give me your number, dude. <laughs> like, what do you mean? But yeah, in terms of soccer, go for Team Japan. Yes. This is life or death. This is the super rich guy's son. But then there's the other white haired dude who's super talented. And then there's the guy that looked like Leorio from Hunter x Hunter, who seems like a really smart person, but is actually a complete idiot and uses big words he doesn't understand. I, I love that. Okay. He's reading him entirely. He's not gonna intercept it. Nice one! Temple Monk kind of standing out right now. Oh shit, if we get a goal right now to end the episode, I'd be pretty hyped. Bachira's dribbling skills, remember, it's um, really good. Oh, Gagamaru! It doesn't matter, just dive. Just dive. That, that's his thing. Dive. It's a diving hitter every time for him. Aww. They're not phased by it at all. They're trying it again. Wait, that's their... They're just having fun and just... Wait, is he gonna do a diving header? Like Gagamaru, but... With his foot. From the beginning, right? His ball control is nuts. One-touch ball control is crazy. And... Please, Lemon. Lemon, Lemon! He's not a goalkeeper, I can't shit on him, but... God damn it. It's fine. It's fine, we'll make a comeback. But they really copied our move. That was so easy. Oh, you don't have to sleep like that. Bro, that's so BM! I don't know if they have, you know, like, copycat Kakashi Sharingan ability. They're just copying us. At the end, we had, like, a pretty cool play. Gagamaru really tried his hard. But then, they're like, oh! That looks fun, let's try it. Oh, it was so easy, why can't you do it, you shitter? <laughs> Did you really have to say it like that? But you can already see uh, Nagi's power is pretty much just ball control. His able to, ability to just kind of like instantly receive the ball and do whatever he wants with it. And it's pretty OP, I guess. I'm not sure how this battle's gonna pan out. Maybe this is the perfect moment for Temple Monk to shine because it seems like... Okay, think about it. The other side is super talented, especially that white-haired guy, right? Super talented, but doesn't give a fuck. Temple Monk is the exact opposite. Zero talent, but all heart. He will fucking put everything in. And he kind of got, he intercepted the pass in the, in, at the, uh, near the end, right? So maybe I'm on the next level Copium, but I just want him to do something to shine. Also, Raichi, I have high hopes for him because it's been like eight fucking episodes. And every time he's like, it's my turn. Finally, I'm going to do something off screen. So 
fingers crossed. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube. I'll push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.